We are following that breaking news, an explosion at the border between the U.S. and Canada involving a car. Let's get to correspondent Nick Smith, who is in the newsroom with these breaking details. Nick. Nicole, our newsroom is working to get more information about that explosion. A border crossing between the U.S. and Canada is closed after a vehicle exploded at a checkpoint on a bridge near Niagara Falls. Now, the FBI's field office in Buffalo is now investigating the explosion on the Rainbow Bridge. That is one of four border crossings connecting Ontario to western New York. If you look at your screen right there, you can see that traffic is at a complete stop. Flashing lights are stopping anyone from entering into the United States. New York Governor Kathy Hochul said she has been briefed on the incident and is closely monitoring the situation. And again, you're looking at live pictures right now of the bridge that connects the U.S. and Canada. In a statement, from the FBI, the Buffalo Field Office says they are investigating a vehicle explosion at the Rainbow Bridge, a border crossing between the U.S. and Canada in Niagara Falls. Now, the FBI is coordinating with local, state, and federal law enforcement partners in this investigation. Now, this situation, again, Nicole, is very fluid, and all we can say at this time is that we will continue to watch what is happening there. That is the statement there from the FBI. Now, the Rainbow Bridge, again, is one of four border crossings connecting Ontario to Western New York. New York Governor Kathy Hochul has been briefed and she will be monitoring that situation. As we get more information, Nicole, we will bring it to you immediately. All right, Nick Smith, uh, live in our newsroom with that breaking news. Thank you, Nick. All right, joining me now on the phone, let's bring in Tracy Walder, former CIA officer, FBI special agent, as well as a News Nation national security analyst. Uh, Tracy, thank you so much for giving us some of your time on this breaking news. Obviously, so much developing right now. We don't know a lot of details, but what was your initial reaction to learning about this explosion? Well, uh, honestly, thank you for having me, Nicole. My initial reaction is actually this is something that happened again in the Canada border just before September 11th, actually. And that's sort of where my brain went, which I don't mean to alarm people, but this was something that we did see and were a threat that we were able to stop just before September 11th. Also, I believe yesterday, just yesterday, Governor Hochul um, was talking about this rise in sort of terroristic chatter um, in relation to sort of the geopolitical situation in the world. And so, it, it, unfortunately to me, it looks like potentially um, that's what this, this could be. And so potentially it does appear that it could be. Again, we, we don't know the details, but yeah. it's certainly not out of the question, I guess is probably the best way to ask right. that. Of course, you know, I don't think the reality is, is nothing is ever out of the question, right? This was a vehicle that it sounds like just from the re initial reporting was coming into um, the United States. And I think really what the FBI is probably trying to pinpoint is, is this some kind of an accident that the vehicle had, which of course we can't take that off the table either, or was this something that was intentional? And if it was intentional, was it targeted directly to the person in this vehicle, or was the vehicle intended for making entry to the United States and doing something bigger, right? So those are sort of the questions, in my opinion, that are out there right now. You know, and what does it tell you, Tracy, that, that this was apparently a car attempting to enter the U.S. from yes. Canada versus the other way around? So, and, and that's, thank you for bringing that up, Nicole. I have to be honest, that was the first thing that I tried to find out was which way was the car going. Because if, and again, right, everything is just an if right now because we don't know for sure. If this is some kind of a terrorist attack, really what that tells us is what the target was and how the individuals are trying to make entry into the United States versus, you know, committing an attack going into Canada. So that will tell us a lot about what um, the target was. And, you know, we talk a lot about our southern border, which obviously absolutely needs to be secured. But we also forget that we have a border um, in the north and there have been attempts to penetrate that border by terrorists in the past. And again, we don't know that this is a terrorist attack, but it has happened before. You know, and Tracy, it's like you're reading my mind because I, I wanted to ask you about that because there is, you know, so much focus, obviously, you know, and there needs to be on our southern border. But this really does illustrate the importance of securing all U.S. entry points because, again, we don't know that this is terrorism, uh, but at the same time, there is a real risk at other locations besides our southern border. Absolutely, Nicole. I mean, you're, you're absolutely right to bring that up. And again, this could be a situation where the you know border border control up in Canada was maybe able to stop this. 
um, and maybe that's why the explosion occurred, right? We don't know for sure, and if that's the case, then that's excellent, right, on their part, but but we don't know. And I think sometimes we do forget, right, that we have, obviously, we have, you know, the oceans on the east and the west, and that needs to be secured, too, but we do forget that we have a border in the north, and we do have a history, um, a known history, of al-Qaeda attempting to penetrate it. And I, and I want to read that statement again uh, from the Buffalo Field Office, uh, which reads in part that the FBI is coordinating uh, with local, state, and federal law enforcement uh, partners in this now ongoing investigation. They're saying that the, the situation is very fluid and also just adding that that's all that they can say at this time. That is from the Buffalo uh, FBI Field Office. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.